Oh please God, please don't let me die. Please, 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 yes! And that only took me like two tries. Usually that would take me like five tries. Well, on the first time it took me like seven, but yeah. Oh, save. <sighs> okay, now anyways. As soon as you go in these waters, a barracuda is going to spawn. And if I had my grenade launcher on me, I'd blow it to death. And I'm, in fact, I'm just going to use my pistols. I don't want to waste any ammo on the barracuda. Bye. Thank God it's dead. Okay, there's a switch in here somewhere, if I remember. There it is. Okay, there's a golden dragon right there, as you can see, but we're going to save that till later because I don't want to waste any breath on the golden dragon. Oh no, I'm running out, I'm running out, I'm running out. <sighs> okay, I think, that, I think about three or four barracudas spawned, but, um, but yeah, I'm going to get that golden dragon right now. Oh great, now that we got all three secrets in the level, we are rewarded with harpoons, which is pretty useless. Barracudas. I keep seeing the wood barracuda. Okay. I'm gonna use some health. Because you might accidentally take some full damage in this part. Okay, I'm gonna see there. Okay, now as you can see, this room is just filled with nothing but rocks, and well, basically we need to get past these rocks. Uh, basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna blow them up, and we're gonna come down over here in this little hole right here. Okay. Now there are two passageways, one over there and the other over th over here. But we're gonna go to the one here because this is where we're supposed to go first. Uh. 
Okay, just let you know, prepare yourselves. Ah! Oh, when I played this game the first time, when I pulled that switch, it, it literally just shit myself. Seriously, uh, that scared the crap out of me. Okay, I'll show you what it did now. Which way we're supposed to go? I think we're supposed to go over there. Is this the right one? Yeah. Um, I don't think we're in the same room, but yeah. Um, yeah, basically, up there is is where we're gonna pull a switch, and it's gonna drain a room uh, with water. It's not what did I say? Drain? No, it's gonna fill a room up with water, and we're gonna need it because there's a huge drop, which I'll show you later on. And we need to fill up with water in order on in order to continue. So, and yeah, I can't remember which route we're supposed to get up there because a lot of these are slides. I think we're supposed to go over here. Ah, that wasn't so bad. Okay, I'll show you the room where it which filled up with water. So let's go back down here. Okay, basically, what the explosion did was this is the room we were here before, because up there is the, you know, the drop where we came into, and originally this room was co like covered up with rocks and or gravel, whatever these things are, and um, basically what the explosion did was it blew blew up the rocks and it basically made them climbable, so you can get up there on that no not there but the passage over there. And actually, I definitely recommend you save in this part because I don't know if you can't obviously you can't see it, but actually down in between the rocks there is actually a trap door. Which if you jump too high if you, or if you um, don't have much health, you're gonna die. And well, how much health do I have left? That uh, should be alright. Yeah, you can just about see a tiny hole at the top of the screen, but that's the trap door. <laughs> okay, there's a clear look at it. Yeah, it opened up the door to end the level, and that was the room which we filled with water.
and the shortcut to get out of here is to go through the trap door safely. Alright, so let's get ourselves out of here. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we need to go through that entrance. That's the entrance where he blew the rocks up. And this is the entrance to end the level, which I'll show you. Okay, this is the room which we filled the wa with water, and originally, before, this, this didn't have any water in it, we would have died if we, obviously, yeah, we would have died if we just fell, you know, and I also recommend you save, because, because there's a diver which you can just easily ignore, and there's, but the main reason is because there's a couple of guys, one with a wrench and the other with a shotgun. And they do take tons of life. I'm gonna get my Uzis. So yeah, just ignore the diver or frogman. Darn it! Oh, I almost got myself killed then. Okay, so this guy drops some shotgun shells. Uh -huh. And this guy drops a large med pack. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, well, if he didn't have much health, then this would have been really hard, in fact. On the PlayStation version, I I couldn't really get past these. It took me lots of tries because I didn't have much health because I used it all. Because I used it all. And um, yeah. So let's pull the switch. And we are out of here. And all this is actually a pretty short level. If you know what you're doing, then it's pretty short. It's like boom. But if you didn't know what you're doing, it's probably pretty long. So yeah guys, that was the 40 Fat Hooms level, and we will be continuing on in the wreck of the Marina Doria. So see you soon.